Hello guys, this is your GP, family physician, Dr. Ali. So, do you want to know more about the medication that you may have purchased or may have been prescribed? Remember, I will be talking about the active ingredients and pharmacological names rather than specific brands. So, what is candesartan? Candesartan is angiotensin receptor to blocker. In common words, it's a blood pressure medication. It is given as 8 mg initially to start with for blood pressure and can be gradually increased to a maximum of 32 mg once daily. This is usually done at intervals of 4 weeks. The usual dose however remains around 8 mg. It is also given in patients with heart failure. Initially in that case it is given as a 4 mg and the dose is gradually increased to a maximum of 32 mg. It is not usually given in combination with ACE inhibitors until and unless advised by an expert. One of the other uses of candesartan is prevention of migraine. It is given at 16 mg once daily in which cases you should not give candesartan in combination with aliscarin or if a patient has liver issues. The common side effects of all angiotensin receptor blockers are abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting and diarrhea, lack of energy also known as asthenia. Some patients report dizziness, vertigo and headaches. Remember the potassium need to be monitored and can cause high levels in the blood. Low blood pressure on standing up, also known as postural hypotension. Kidney impairment. Some patients report back pain and cough. For candesartan specific, increased risk of infection has been reported as a side effect. Angiotensin receptor 2 blockers should be avoided in pregnancy. For liver failure, it is advised to use in caution and avoid in severe impairment. You may need to adjust the dose in kidney failure and avoid if the EGFR is less than 15. As mentioned earlier, it requires the potassium level to be monitored. So blood tests after two weeks of starting candesartan. To stay up to date with my videos, do not forget to like, share and follow. Thank you very much.